Okay, so let's talk about my history with Naruto. So, long ago, I was on the internet and I searched for anime AMVs. And the Naruto versus Sasuke fight in the Valley of the End, um, that was the fight that I watched. And because of that, that actually got me into watching uh, the Naruto, Naruto series. So I started watching Naruto and I found it was like an okay series. But the more I watched it, the more I got into it kind of thing. Honestly, the first series of Naruto I enjoyed, but it didn't really sell me on the show. I kind of watched bits and pieces. I sort of pieced together what the story is about, but I didn't watch it all. So when Naruto Shippuden came out, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. I started watching it from the beginning, and since then I nearly watched every single episode every week kind of thing. But we got to a point where I sort of stopped watching, and then there's a big gap where I didn't watch the show, and then I sort of caught up towards the end. And then I sort of caught up with things. And an anime and manga reviewer called Soya7Mage, I started watching his manga reviews for the latest chapters of Naruto. And I instead started watching them as opposed to watching the anime. Every now and then I'd watch one of the anime episodes, but I really got more into the, the manga. So I'd listen to the review, then I'd read the manga. And that is literally how I finished the Naruto series. So I finished ages and ages ago, and the anime was still so far from being finished that... I was really glad that I did it that way because you cut out so much filler as well because there's obviously none in the manga. So when I went back and I tried to carry on watching the anime, there was a lot of filler and it kind of threw me right out of the series. And that was one of the biggest problems I had with Naruto was just the filler. I think it'd be awesome if they could do like a, a, a collection of all the episodes, but they kind of streamline it. So let's say, how many episodes are there? They're like 500, 700 or something like that. Where you sort of cut down all the filler episodes and you only put important moments and flashbacks that aren't necessary in episodes they cut them out as well i imagine you could turn like a 500 episode series right down into like 200 300 maybe like based on this show but i would like that and i'd probably rewatch it all again overall i have really enjoyed the naruto series it's a great story about mainly sasuke and naruto and their basically evolution of their diverging philosophies and yeah i really liked it so the point i'm trying to make with this story is i got into this series based on a fight scene so it was really cool that the, one of the final episodes was the continuation of that fight and the final fight really and the animation of that fight was even better than the one I watched so long ago. It was awesome. This hair is doing my head and it keeps falling down. So whoever animated these two episodes did an absolutely fantastic job. They did really well. And the way the fight goes as well, it's kind of how I wanted the fight to be. It starts off with a bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat, no music at all so it really fits the situation and they're doing all this hand-to-hand -hand stuff. It's pretty pretty fast-paced, it's going well. Then, obviously, they have a little power-up. They sort of unleash their forms a little bit more, and they start fighting at a higher level. And then we go into the giant mode, where they switch into the giant forms. It's got the Susano, and we've got Naruto's giant form. And they fight in that form for quite a while, and then they do that big attack thing, where they've got the big explosion. And my memory's obviously a bit hazy. I thought that was the final, like, attack together. And if it had ended there, I'd be like, that was a bit too short, really. I hope that's not the case. But no, it carries on. Then we get the ultimate attacks of each one. Both of them use them. That depletes all the stamina. And then we get the final fight, which is, I have to say, brilliant. They've completely run out of chakra, and they're just using their fists. And it's so brutal, the way they're fighting as well. It really shows, like, these people have been fighting for so long. They've been doing all these battles, and what little energy they have left, they're trying to pour into this fight. And you can see Sasuke getting on top of Naruto and just beating the living shit out of him. You can see actual damage on people, which is always really good. Cloves are getting torn, which is always a standard, really, in, like, shonen fight things. But I like to see it. And this is the first time I'm going to say that they've actually used cutscenes well. There was a couple that I thought, maybe we didn't need them, but the majority of them being interspliced with the fights. So we got flashbacks to when they were younger and they were fighting about them, like, what they believe in and sort of how they were when they were alone before and what they're fighting for. So that, that worked really well. I mean, the philosophies are, Sasuke believes that to be Hokage, what it means is to take everybody's hatred and just take it all in yourself. Whereas Naruto's philosophy is something that he learned from someone else, which is the person becomes Hokage, not because he wants to, it's because everybody else acknowledges him as Hokage. And obviously their philosophies differ about what is right and wrong. Sasuke uses history as an example, saying that the previous Hokages, they did a shit job. Uh, they've not been able to create peace. If we just get rid of all them with a blank slate, I'll use my new philosophy and we're going to 
going to change the world, it's going to be a better place. And using the Rinnegan, I'm going to reincarnate, I'm going to keep this going, and I'll suffer throughout all eternity because that's what's right. That's what Itachi did. He suffered in order to try and create a better world. So as a final fight, this episode I thought was really good because it really showed the weariness of battle and the struggle to just keep on going and keep fighting. There are a couple moments where it probably would have been out of character for Sasuke, but <laughs> it's going to be a weird comparison. You know in the Pokemon movie, the first one, when the two, the Pikachu and the Pikachu clone are fighting and the one keeps slapping the other Pikachu while the Pikachu doesn't do anything and the Pikachu starts crying. Like, that was quite sad in that episode, but like, I kind of thought that was going to happen in this, where Sasuke is on top of Naruto and he's just beating the shit out of him. He's trying to kill him. His like, face is getting all bloody. And I was just expecting like some tears to come out of his face because obviously he wants, he has to kill his best friend in order to achieve his goal because he wants to be alone. This is, I don't know if it, it fully explains away why he's been such a dick throughout the entire series, why he always wants everyone to push them away and everything. But he says that, I have no family, I have no friends, I don't even have any members of my clan anymore, so I am the perfect person to take on this hatred. I don't have to share it with anyone, I don't have to bring them down with me. So that is one reason why you can explain why he did that thing to uh, Sakura in the, the previous episode. But yeah, it's up to you really if you think that was this is a noble thing. And yeah, just it, it's up to you really. But we have a great moment as well with Naruto where obviously they're doing their final attack. Sasuke's stolen a little bit of uh, the chakra from Naruto. He's able to create his uh, Chidori with the black flames. And he goes in for the attack, fueled by loneliness, hatred and blah, blah, blah. And then you've got Naruto who gave a, a really nice little smile to Kurama and has a nice little fist bump moment with him. And he goes with his Rasengan and uh, you see all of the friends and family that he's made. They've all sort of chipped in and it's more symbolic rather than they're actually chipping in kind of thing they're all sort of helping him uh, build this thing to to help win his friend and those two things clash together big explosion and it ends there i, I really thought this was gonna be the last episode as well like everything was gonna wrap up now but i guess we have one last episode to sort of settle everything down i'm not sure if i want to do a review for the last one this was kind of the biggest episode but i'll let you guys decide if you want me to talk about the last one anyway but overall episode was really good it's been a very long time since i've said an episode of naruto was uh, amazing i'm gonna go that far but this episode almost makes up for the majority of the flashbacks that we've had throughout the series uh not really but it does in a way and it's been really good i'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think of this episode if you haven't read the manga then who do you think is going to win this battle is sasuke going to stand up triumphant and finish off Naruto, or is Naruto going to stand up triumphant? Is he going to save his friend, or is he just going to finish him off because YOLO? So yeah, I want to say thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch you later. Rasengan!